tornado coming in. That's fine. A little bit of hail following it. Sure, that's okay. What made you want to stand in the rain? It's open. Oh, okay. Hey, welcome to Vice Grip Lodge. Today, Crane and I are going fencing. It's it's our favorite thing to do. Nope, not even close. Somewhere up here between this field and that pasture, there must be a fence down. Cows were out yesterday, so we gotta go find what the issue is, and hopefully it's not that bad. We just grabbed uh, one and a half spools of barb, a couple tea posts, some clips, a few cold snacks. It's all about, about all a guy needs, I guess. But. Just gonna scoot around here and see if we can figure out where it's down. Ah, oh, that one looks good enough. Got a twist in here from them reaching into the bales. Probably just need a clip or something. Yeah, just, uh, get out of there. That's good enough. Definitely not the issue, but miles will fix it while we're here. Oh, go throw a couple clips in down there too, I guess. So, uh, yeah, this gate is not very effective when it's open so i guess we're going to shut that real quick but i think there's still something else going on it's probably going to be this side over there in that pasture but we'll see by the way this rig's got air conditioning believe it or not it's kind of nice yeah you're doing good it's looking fine That little gate there, that cattle guard, if you're wondering what that is, fits these side-by-sides. So you can run these and four-wheelers over them. But, uh, of course, the cattle, them don't get over them. More downage here. Probably ought to stretch on this, see? Yeah, probably good, huh? This is called a yeah, it's not. These are good. Yeah, them are real good. All right, well, we've made it 200 yards of 97 miles, so everything's going fine. Should be some trees popping up here in 20 years. Right down the center there where she ain't mowed. What kind of animal is that? A tiger. A tiger bird? Yeah. That post is 75 feet high. You want to fix it or just ignore it? I think it's fine. Yeah. See if we could pop these down a little bit, you know, because you could drive an S10 under it. And see this hair? They've been just crawling underneath. So. Yeah.
probably got to unhook this so she fires down. I'll get the plier. And this fills with water. You know, the old one grit hangs that fence down a little bit. There you go. Too late. Fourteen percent better. That's fixed. We're gonna put a T post in here. That's how low that is. You can see they're just jumping over here for sure. And that's a little low too. Might could ride this up a little bit higher, you know, get some more upage on it. Is it in there now? It's down. You know, good enough for the girls we date anyway. Crying through a staple up there too. Kind of looks like Christmas lights, but that's fine. You just gotta trick them, like my grandpa used to say. We're gonna pretend we didn't see any of this stuff here. But we definitely got a big blowout down here. We're gonna have to, look at this. They're just walking through this with these. Probably gonna have to add some wire, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a post. Well, we snagged out that old piece because it's just so brittle, it keeps bending. And there was a newer piece in here, not a dim. But this is where this fence keeps breaking and is in these loops like that. But we'll throw this one and then we'll probably kind of snag that up a little bit. Snag cutter. Snag cutter. Got it. If you guys remember the C50, that's where I was sitting, right down there. You gonna arm wrench it or you want the stretcher? At least it ain't 106 out. Nope, it is. Oh yeah. If we do this right, we'll just snap that wire down there. Well, it's kind of ish, more gooder. We'll uh, get that up there, and then there's a post snapped off down there. We'll throw a T in. And hopefully that's it, because that's all the posts we brought with us. Actually, we gotta go to the house to get cold snacks anyway, so. Did you get a piece of that old wire? Yep. Oh yeah. Calibration needed. They're definitely jumping here. Seems to be getting better the farther we go down here. There, that's fixing it. Keep doing that. Yeah, there. Then you might think this is a gate, but no. This is a this is a fence. Uh we need posts. One, two, seventeen. Great. Free clamp you found there. Huh? Yeah, this one will work. That'll spook them. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go. You're just, I'm sweating watching you. We're just kind of running down the line since we're over here. We'll maybe fix that twist over there. Crank says that's good because there's different levels. So we'll leave that. And that's the corner post. I don't know what it looks like behind the bales. Kind of almost don't want to look. All these poles were going to be cut into lumber at one point. Or this way? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Herbert. I don't know what he's doing. Well, we're back. We found two good ones, and this one's got a slight bend on her, but I think, you know, that'll match. We're gonna get this floater out here. That'll help quite a bit. And I think there's another floater right down there. And then we'll try to straighten up this wire a little bit. Might have to put a new section in from there. Wow, I guess, you know, all the way down there. Well, this, you know, it's up, it's looking better. Krang made it to about right there. I'm gonna go find some of these staples I pulled out and bend them back flat, you know. A whole bucket is six bucks. Uh, I don't really wanna, oh, that's the old C-band dish. Huh, satellites. I don't think I wanna get out here and get stuck. But yeah, maybe we will. Just bring her back. Go around. I don't want to cut a tire. Oh yeah. Oh, this looks good. got a stick tightener 200 in it. There's no way they got through this. No. Can't be. There. Oh, we got another floater? Here it is. Give me a thing here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'll slide that twist. down and twist it. That's fresh. What is, uh, what's this one doing? Oh, there you go. Did you see this down here? Look at this one. <laughs> just goes from there to the top. This is one that my great grandpa probably put in. Oh, hey, we're, we're fixing it. This, that's this is technically the top and bottom. So where's this go? That must have could have hooked into this one here. Oh yeah, there you go. But oh wait, we got two fences coming together, and I think I say we don't even use this. We just start on this floater here. The tie into this. And yeah, back. tie into that. What's this? That's fine. That's a trip hazard for the for them guys, you know. There. All right, take some notes here, fellers. This, this is how you keep them cattle in. They just have no idea what's going on. They, nope, not even going to try. And I think, oh, maybe I'll snip that up a little bit, and then we'll call her good. Looks like they come down for the hay here, and then they snap the T-post off, but they've been walking through here for long time we'll get this patched up and then I think we're gonna roll this tractor cab just scooch her over a bit try to shut down the alleyway here huh guy yeah yeah turns out the cozy cab with the heater now fellers is just it's too it's, it's too heavy I couldn't I couldn't scooch it so that's gonna stay there. What? Well, it's a Ford, son. That's why it's there. Now we're getting close to the end, though. Drill pipe. Clipperization here. What's George doing? He's shooting something. Got a some sort of snow machine back there. John Deere disc. Got some real good premium 347 tires. That's uh the snapper that worked for like what nine days? Never worked. Oh, okay. 
There it is. Looks complete though. Look at that pillar. Oh, there is an upside down tiller. Is that an Alice Chalmers tiller? Another good tire, refrigerator. There's the frame for an Airstream camper on top of a oh, yeah. header for a Massey Ferguson. Massey Ferguson combine header. <laughs> got, a, got some sort of grain header, looks like. There's another John Deere. I think that that's an early, no, late 70s. See the fuel tank on it, the canister? I think that was a little 111, if I remember right. Not the hydrostat, I don't think. Manure spreader that Chris spent nine years in. No, that one I did. Yeah, the New Holland. That's the one that Michael punctured his brain on from the left Oh. Okay. This one never really worked. You just have to shovel the whole time. Some sort of tractor down there. I don't know what it is. You know what that tractor is? John Deere? And they cut the tree off that was growing through it to get it out of there. That looks like a like a D or something. Steel wheel, so that would be pre war or during war. They made steel wheels because rubber was so hard to get then that they just, I mean, even the fronts are steel. That's pretty cool. I can't remember yeah, when that showed up. There that That's the bad spot. Is that the bad spot? All right, I'll bring it around. So there's that tree right there he was talking about that they sawed off, it grew up through the frame and the engine just to get this thing out of here. I wish I knew what it was. Well, Al and Grandpa are dead, so. Huh, pretty cool. Just imagine, I mean, this is when men were men. You sit on this thing and run this all day instead of rigs like this with air conditioning and stuff. It's just crazy. Oh, you fixed it. Yeah, I just need a clip and we're fixed. Alright. Hey, Benjamin, grab a clip and the old flyer. Should be an old International and a John Deere in here. Let's snip in here and see. This is where that C50 grain truck sat forever. Oh, yeah, here you go. You got the Versatile. Oh yeah, there's the old McCormick Deering up there. Well, we'll go look at them. What the hey? That guy there. That was just spray painted. Oh, Is there? Yeah. The H. Oh yeah, the H sat here. John Deere. Uh, Chris and I got these two fired up last year and washed them and. Went around the yard a little bit with them. That one we put a new lightning rotor and you can see the lightning hoses and stuff we put in there. I think the same on this one too, maybe. Can't remember. That one we don't know what's what's wrong with it. I never never heard the word from grandpa. But yeah, there was a really nice H sitting here that uh, is no longer here. C50 sat against this wall over here. This is my grandpa's versatile, bi-directional. We got chickens. Oh, he just went inside. Oh, they're in there. Yeah, there they are. Chicken. They put that up. Log splitter. Is this run? Yep, just this hydraulic leak issue. Is that a predator? It is. 800 million horsepower. This barn was moved here in the 70s, I think. From Kenmare, North Dakota or something like that. But she's a little slanty. Huh? Yep. There's Uncle Chris's tire. Yeah, oh, they look really good. Uniroyals, Laredos. We'll see if we can get up in the hayloft. You forgot some nails here on top of the feeder. You know what's up here, Dad? Yeah. There's a canoe and a bunch of wild cats. Wild yeah. Here we go. 
have all the stairs or they're fine. You know, you just ignore that. Yeah. Canoes up, Canoe's up here. Bunch of leather bits and bridles and whatever. But there's usually there's my basketball hoop to zoom in on it. Where? Oh yeah. I used to play the B ball up here, you know. We usually get about two dozen cats out of this up here, but I don't see any right now. Well, I think we nailed the fencing. Them cows are going to stay in for at least 17, 18 hours. Maybe more. Got some family up at the house back here, so we're going to call it a day. Thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. No, keep, keep going a little bit so we can see. Stop. Do it now. Hammer it. Lower it. <laughs> I think it's all wheel drive. It is.